come in. Stay, you become part of the background. Go out. Now this is what we see the backgrounds and here is this guy and the camera pointing at somebody. So okay let's suppose Powers decides to move in. Good. Stay, stay. Go back. Hide. Okay. Now come closer. So, this is the algorithm of our background subtraction module. The camera keeps streaming the frames into the FPGA board where they are processed, stored into memory, and displayed on the monitor. Every time there is a new frame coming in, this module reads the previous processed background and multiplies it by a factor alpha, then adds the new frame multiplied by 1 minus alpha. Alpha is in between 0 and 1. It's a factor that manipulates how long it takes for a new object to become a part of the background. After calculation, the new background is stored back to the memory for the next computing, and is also displayed in the first window on the left of the monitor. We also did some experiments on different values of alpha, and it turned out that the better value of alpha is around 0.995. It took about 3 seconds for an object to be in the background completely. This is a diagram of our project. You can see that in the middle there is the main board, and also there are DDR memory and HDMI monitor. In the upper left, there is the camera module. It controls and communicates with the camera. And below it, there is the system control module. It takes charge of all the global reset and clocks. The frame buffer module is in the middle. It gets data from the camera and then writes it to the DDR memory. And through another port, it reads the DDR and then transfers the data to the video processing module. The new background is generated in this video processing module and then transferred to the DVI transmitter. The DVI transmitter takes charge of the communication between the monitor and the board. And also, there is a video timing module that generates the HS and VS signals, as well as the H-counter and V-counter. One of the challenges we met is floating point issue. We have to do multiplication and division with alpha, and also the background process should be gradual and smooth. But since we are not using a DSP processor, we all do it in fixed point and that resulted in a very big precision lose. So if we redshift by 7, all the 7 bits will be lost. And if the background changes less than 7 bits, then it will never detect it. Our solution is that, for example, for red color, it only has 5 bits. But instead of we store only these 5 bits, we store all the 13 bits before the division so that no precision is lost. And when we transfer the volume to the monitor, we only transfer the upper 5 bits MSB to the monitor. So after all, it is the concept using range to exchange for precision. And also due to this, we have very limited memory resource.
Tom. You're outside of camera anyway. <laughs> okay, great. Now, all of you, just get away. Just go. Let's see if it detects a lot of people. Turn right, right after that. Now go home and never come back. Can you make a dance? Can you make a dance? Kind of stuff. Kind of stuff. <laughs>